Hey everyone, this is Michael Trithart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to walk you through the new updated back office version of GoDaddy in terms of getting your C name set up. GoDaddy has recently changed the back office. The process is still the same, it's just a couple of the uh, screenshots that look a little bit different. But basically, what you're going to do is to go in, and if you want to get MichaelTrithart.com set up as your domain name instead of showing MichaelT.UKWAgent.com, Here's the process. This is the C name process for getting your e-agency site set up. So here you go. You're going to get logged into kw.com. Just be on the main page right here of mykw.com. My You're also going to do the same thing for GoDaddy. So you want to get logged in on both spots. Now come over here to go excuse me, to your KW site. Hit the plus sign right here next to My Marketing. Then click on Manage My e-agency website right here go to the uh, preview button right here that's going to bring up your link for your site your michael t dot your kwagent.com highlight copy that then you're going to come over here to godaddy you're already logged in come down to where you see domain names hit the plus sign scroll down to find your site find your links let's expand this here to see all of them and there is michaeltreadhart.com, the domain name that I have purchased. And I'm going to hit launch. And when I do that, it takes a couple seconds. It's going to open up this screen. And where it says DNS zone file, I'm going to click that. It's a single left click. Then I'm going to scroll down to where it says CNAME alias. And then when I hit the edit record option right here. I'm going to click on this option right here. And that's where I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure that I have copied and pasted in michaelt.yourkwagent.com. I'm going to paste that in there and then I'm going to hit finish. I've already done it so I'm not going to hit finish again. And it's going to make me save some changes on the screen. Just make those changes. That's the only thing that you change on the screen. Do not touch the www. Do not touch anything else. What's going to be in there before you put in the Michael T. Your kwagent.com is going to be an at symbol. You just remove that and copy and paste in Michael T. Your kwagent.com or whatever you guys want. Now, the key thing on that make sure that you copy and paste from your website. My suggestion is to never type it in. I've seen way too many people misspell something in this line right here and it messes everything up. So just copy paste. Now, you're going to save that information and then you're going to come up here and you're going to go to where it says all domains. And when you click on all domains, you're going to see where it says michaeltreadhart.com. Check that box right there, which active, activates the toolbar above. You're going to mouse up to where you see the forwarding arrow and you're going to hit forward domains. Then you're going to update the forwarding. And what you're going to do here is you're going to make sure that you edit it to show that it's going to forward to the version with the, the W's. So michaeltreadhart.com is going to forward to www.michaeltreadhart.com. Never mask it. Don't make any other changes to this screen right here. Just leave it as is. All it is is the same domain name with W's in front of it and a dot. Then you're going to hit save. And again, I'm just going to cancel that out because I've already done all mine. So everything on the domain side for GoDaddy, their side of it, it's all good. Save the changes. Then one of the final things that you're going to do, there's two things left. You're going to come over here and you're going to go to step 1.0, 1.1. And you're going to come down to 1.1 where it says add new domain name. And you're going to make sure that you have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot and then whatever the new domain name is. So it's going to look like this, just like that. And you can do and you would save your changes. Now you can do as many different domain names as you want following that same process. You would just need to do it one at a time. So technically you could have three C names for one website. That will work. Not a problem whatsoever. So you can put all that information in there. Just do it one at a time. Now, one thing that you can do, find out which domain name you want to be your primary. Go to step 2.0, 2.4, and when you go to step 2.0, 2.4, 2 
where it says website to display you're going to choose the alternate radio button just right there and you're going to copy and paste the full website address the finished version the one that is www.michaeltreadhart.com you're going to copy and paste that information in right here and save your changes and what that will do is that will showcase the proper domain name on all KW features. So if I come over here to where it says kw.com and I go to agents and I type in my name and I hit search where it says visit my website instead of it taking it out to michaelt.ukwagent.com it's going to show michaeltreadhart.com plus if they come back over here and instead of doing an agent search but they do an office search and they go through Plano, Texas and they find me it's going to showcase my domain name the right way michaeltreadhart.com versus michaelt.ukwagent.com so that is how you get set up on the new version of GoDaddy. Hope that helped. Thanks. Bye.